What's up everyone, this is Dimitri and today I wanted to talk about the decline cable press. Again, it's one of the brick menu exercises and the target of this one is your chest. Now the reason you do a decline is because most of the fibers actually converge a bit below the midpoint of your chest. So by doing a decline you actually use most of the fibers of the back muscle. For this exercise the setup is crucial. What you must do is make sure that the line of the resistance is always in line with the forearm. And that should be the case throughout the whole range of motion. That is the most important thing in this exercise and as long as you do that you're gonna be pretty much fine. You can experiment a bit with the torso position making it more or less decline. That is pretty much up to you. And also something to consider is the overlap with the other exercises that you do. So for example if you do a lot of front delt work which only peripherally recruits the clavicular back fibers like front presses or supine incline dumbbell presses you will probably benefit from adding this exercise more than someone who just does a bunch of flat dumbbell presses or even decline dumbbell presses. If you don't have a free motion machine like this in your gym, you can also do this exercise one-handed, which is what I have been doing until I have moved to a new gym recently. It's a pretty good variation just by itself, uh, mostly because it also allows you to bring your arm more inward, uh, thus giving you more range of motion and more of that big contraction, and also allowing you to focus on just one arm at a time. The only downside is that it takes a, a bit more time, because you have to do two arms separately. As for sets and reps, I recommend doing this exercise um, uh, two times per week, maybe altering the rep ranges. So for example, you could do it on one day in the 5 to 10 rep range and on another day in the 10 to 20 range. A 20 to 30 rep range is not very desirable because the back muscle is predominantly fast twitch, but it is really individual and if you get good workouts working out in that extremely high rep range, then good for you and continue doing that. If you're turning chest two times per week, I recommend doing about three sets per session. And if you're doing it more frequently, then you can actually go down to two to three sets per session. Also, it's not a really a good idea to do only this exercise because it will probably get stale quite quickly and you might be at risk of developing wear and tear issues. So in my plan, I train chest twice a week. On one day I did the flat dumbbell press, on the another day I did the decline cable press. I hope this video was helpful. Like and subscribe, please leave a comment for the algorithm and follow me on Instagram. And stay tuned for more videos. Have a nice day.